What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Joshua Martin. This first video, I'm going to show you the Capture app and how I used it for my most recent project, the uh, album cover that I made for Whistling, the music band. So let's, uh, let's jump right in. Let's actually just talk about the pros and cons real quick. I really do enjoy this app, but in order for you to enjoy this app to its full potential, you need to have the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. And that is kind of a turnoff for most people because I know that they don't want to pay 20 or $50 a month for their Photoshop and Lightroom and all that stuff. So for those who aren't in the whole Adobe system, I'm sorry, I don't have an alternative right now, but those who are using Adobe and they don't use this app, I'm gonna try to convince you to use this app for your own creative flow. Cool thing that this app allows you to do, it allows you to create several different types of tools that connect to your Creative Cloud library from all of the applications from Adobe. So here they have different tabs, looks, brushes, colors, patterns, shapes and they'll give you a little indication of what you can use these for. But today we're gonna to focus on the brush tab because this is what I use for the um, some of the textures for the album cover. Just a quick synopsis of what the concept for the album art is. If you haven't listened to Whistling's music, they're a, their tones are very eerie, kind of dark and things like that, especially from their latest demo, um, Haunted House. But their type of music they're gonna be creating is electric, electro pop folk music. And so I want the texture to kind of fit of where their location is. And they, they're located in the Midwest, Southwest Michigan, that is. And there's a lot of rural areas, a lot of trees and things like that. So it dawned on me that the Adobe app finally incorporated all of the tools outside of the actual main um, applications and allows you to create them from whatever image you have. So let me show you what that actually, actually means. And so here we're in our brush panels, right? And if you actually click on the little plus, you can bring in any image you want from your camera phone or something that you already have. And you can bring it in to uh, the brush panel here and it's going to create a brush. But let's just use this orange as an example, right? So when it brings it in, it's going to find the lights and darks. It's going to make all the white transparent so the darker object of the image can show up in your brush. And, let's, and then this slider is the intensity. So you can kind of click on an area and then you can tell, you can fine tune it and things like that. So you just hit this green button there and then you can tell where to crop it and things like that. Next, if you're working in Photoshop, you wanna click on one of these threes here. One of these threes, Photoshop CC brushes. Actually, I really like that pattern too. I could probably use that later. Let's just do that pattern, scatter pattern. And you can edit it, edit it. And then if you keep hitting next, you can give it a name. And then return. And of course I can add, you know, a folder here. Okay. Click there and save. Then now let's actually hop over to my Photoshop. Okay guys, so we're here in Photoshop and in order for you to use the brush that you just made from the app, you wanna navigate over to the libraries tab. And in your libraries tab, you have your, the way you've organized this. So you have to go click on this drop down menu. And for me, I click brushes. And so that's where we can find the orange brush we just made from the app. And there you go, simple as that.